Hi, my name is Kanwal Sarai. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the three common dividend myths and three reasons to own dividend stocks. When you buy shares or stocks in a company, you become part owner of the company. And as part owner of the company, you're entitled to share in the profits of the company. Let's assume a company is paying a dividend of $1 per share and you own 1,000 shares. You will receive $1,000 every year for as long as you own those shares and as long as the company continues to pay the dividend. The dividends are deposited into your trading account as cash. So you can spend the money if you wish or you can reinvest it. When it comes to dividends, these three are the comments that I hear often. Dividends are insignificant, dividends are not guaranteed, and what happens to the dividend when the stock price drops? So let's take a look at the first one, where most people believe that dividends are insignificant. Take a look at some of these sample companies here, and you can see that the dividend yield looks pretty low. Uh, the first company on the list has an annual dividend of 36 cents a share. That doesn't seem like a lot of money, doesn't seem like an easy way to obtain financial freedom. Uh, 48 cents a share also doesn't seem like a lot. However, dividends are not insignificant and that's because of dividend increases. So let me give you a personal example of mine to show you the power of dividend increases. In 2000, I purchased 185 shares of TC Energy. The stock price at the time was $13.40 and the dividend at the time was 80 cents a share. The following year, the company raised their dividend to 90 cents. The year after that, the dividend went up again. In fact, the dividend has gone up every single year since I've owned this company. The dividend today is $3 a share. So you can see that my initial investment at the time was $2,479. And since then, I have received over $6,100 in dividends alone, just from this one company. So what's happened to my risk? My risk has gone down to zero. Initially, when I bought the stock, the risk was $2,479. If the company had gone bankrupt, that's how much I could have lost. However, since I've owned the stock, I've received over $6,000 in dividends, and now my risk has gone down to zero. So you can see the current share price is around $66, and the total return, including dividends, is over 640%. This is truly passive income. In fact, it's growing passive income. Every time the company increases the dividend, more money goes into your pocket. Here's a couple of more examples of stocks that I own. And it's important to note, Power Corporation, the dividends alone have more than paid for the initial investment. And same thing with Sun Life. Next, the other comment I hear a lot is that dividends are not guaranteed. And this is absolutely true. Companies are under no legal obligation to pay you a dividend. So they can reduce the dividend anytime they want or eliminate the dividend anytime they want. So as investors, how do you get the confidence to invest in dividend paying companies? We take a look at the past. Here's a list of some companies. Notice how long some of these companies have been paying dividends. Some of them have been paying dividends for over 120 years. Even more important, is the column to the right, which is the consecutive years of dividend increases. Take a look at Procter & Gamble, 62 years of consecutive dividend increases. Coca-Cola, 56 years of consecutive dividend increases. Think about all of the recessions and market downturns we've had in the last 30, 40, 50, 60 years. No one can predict the future. I don't know if these companies will continue to pay dividends or reduce their dividends. But when I take a look at a list like this, I can have a high degree of confidence that companies like these will continue to increase dividends in the future, or at least keep it the same. For those of you who are interested, the York Water Company has the record of any company in the US of paying a dividend continuously for over 204 years. The other thing I hear is what happens to the dividend when the stock price drops? So let's take a look at an example here. So this is TJX. You can see the blue line is the stock price and stock prices go up and down all the time. And you can see in some cases, the stock price has dropped by $5 or even $10 a share. But what's happening to the dividend? That's the orange line. You can see that the dividend has continued 
to go up. In fact, this company has had 23 years of consecutive dividend increases. Let's take a look at another example here with Clorox. Again, the stock price you can see goes up and down. In some cases, dropping five, 10, 15, or $20 a share, but yet the dividend keeps going up. Clorox has had 41 years of consecutive dividend increases. So how can companies continue to increase dividends and continue to pay dividends when their stock price drops? And that's because dividends are not paid from the stock price. Dividends are paid from the earnings. So as long as a company is generating positive earnings and increasing earnings year over year, they can continue to pay dividends. So again, we're looking at TJX. In this case, the orange line represents the earnings per share. So you can see that as long as the earnings per share over time continue to go up, companies will continue to increase their dividend. So these are the three myths and we've just covered them regarding dividends. What I'd like to talk about quickly here are three awesome things about dividends that I really like. Number one, dividends provide an immediate return on your investment while you're holding on to the shares. Without the dividend, you're just hoping for the stock price to go up. Number two, it's cash in your pocket. Like I said before, you can spend the dividend if you wish or you can reinvest it. And number three, once given out, dividends cannot be taken back. So in the event that a company goes out of business or goes bankrupt, all the dividends that you've received over the years are yours to keep. Does this mean you should go out and buy any stock that pays a dividend? No, you should not. Before you go out and buy any stock, you have to make sure that it passes the 12 rules of Simply Investing. I cover these rules in my online Simply Investing course. So it takes about an hour to go through all of the rules in detail with some real life examples. Now we don't have an hour in this video to go through all of the rules, but I will show you the rules here on the screen. And as you can see that if a company passes the first 10 rules, then you know you have a quality company in your hands. If a company passes rule number 11, then you know that the company is also undervalued or priced low. You can see that dividends are just a small part of the 12 rules of simply investing. So before you invest any money into any stock, make sure that it passes all of the 12 rules. To learn more about the Simply Investing course or the Simply Investing report, or to get in touch with me, please have a look at my website, simplyinvesting.com. Thanks for watching.